<laughs> this just contains sleep. You must be a noob. Honestly, I can't imagine a lot of those Nintendo helpline calls went very well. Because, like... I feel like 9 out of 10 kids that called were probably just like, I keep dying. <laughs> uh, well... Try not to fall in pits. I don't know. Like, I'm sure you got the... Every once in a while you got some kid that was like, where's the boomerang and Zelda and then they were like it's right here and they were like okay thanks but most of the time kids don't know what question to ask like they'd just be like um, I can't beat the game <laughs> you know I feel like it would be a rare scenario where a kid would call in with a very specific question that the hotline had the exact answer for. You called because you couldn't figure out how to do a side quest in Chrono Trigger? Did they help you? Oh no. <laughs> like really old games where it's kind of hard to tell like what where you're at. Like okay, I'm in a cave. Okay, which cave? Uh the one with the goblins. <laughs> the one with the walls. I just picked up a sword. What does that tell you? That's cool. Now you'll always remember that time that some random person on the phone helped you with a Nintendo game. <laughs> I should have called in about Mario Party 3. Yeah, Peach keeps stealing all my stars. And Luigi won't stop buying skeleton keys. What do I do? Can you help me out? Oh man, I shoulda. I shoulda called and asked him where Chrono's house was. Do you know where Chrono's house is? You do your best. What's the point of this? How's it going, Ataru? <laughs> yes, hello? Nintendo Hotline? This is Death. I'm looking for Chrono's house. I don't want you to backseat, okay? Because this is for a YouTube thing, but... Could you just give me like a hint? Just give me like a general whereabouts as to where the Colonel's house is. Okay, sorry, you don't have clearance for that information. Honestly, I don't even know what they would tell me because I was standing right in front of it and couldn't get in. Because the hitbox for the entrance was so small. They would have just been like, you're right in front of it. Just go in. I'd be like, I don't see it. It's right there. <laughs> I don't see it. Bro, I will 100% blame the hitbox. It, if you're like two steps to the right, you go in the wrong, the wrong house. 
Then two steps to the left, you don't go anywhere at all. It's like that one spot. I don't care. I don't complain. Yeah, he's fine. He just kind of... He just kind of burned in an oven to death. But he'll be fine. He'll come back. <laughs> Click. How old are you? 28? Click. <laughs> Think of the 111 star. Why, hello there! Yeah, everyone around here is still talking about Dash, so I feel like this ain't it. Sid's here, though. If only I had the Wheel of Time. What? what are you talking about the Wheel of Time, Sid? What am I gonna do? Come back to Earth. Who's talking about the Wheel of Time? Think of the one on one stacks. Well, we've reached a bit of an impasse. I have exhausted all my options. You need the Wheel of Time! Duh! Um. This mana clock. How's it going, Zoo? Let me talk to these boys again. Maybe there's someone I missed. Anyone who can guess my cat's middle name wins a prize. Hint, her first name is... Moraine? I'm gonna go with Whiskers. Nailed it. The settlement in the mountains west of Castle Argus is said to be inhabited by people who can see into the future. Maybe I have to go talk to them? See, everyone's talking about the village, but no one in the village has anything to say. How's it going, Miles? This game is Doug Dimma dabbing on you. I'm offended. Hmm. 
I wonder if the remakes for the DS are technically better than the original. I don't know if there's any game that was remade on the DS that's better than the original. Like, period. <laughs> Can anyone name one? I mean, there's some great DS games, but not remakes. Maybe... No. Final Fantasy IV? I've heard it's really hard. See, I was gonna say Mario 64, but the controls ruin it. Oh! Nice. Thank you, young ones. Th thank you, young ones. Your brave actions have brought peace to the kingdom once again. Here, take this with you. It is the Argus family heirloom, the Wheel of Time, a box created by the powerful ancients. Bring it to Sid and Kanan. This must be what Sid needs to build another airship. We'll be able to go to the surface world. So you have already met Sid, then you know what you must do. Just hands that over. Nice little wheel of time. See, Kanan was the the one to the right of the castle, right? Was it the bottom one or the one? I think it was this one. I love the way they just stand on the water. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just so goofy looking. and he's just gonna be like this is just a stopwatch what was that king going on about you can't do anything with this time so you've met King Argus all right then it's time to get to work I'll turn your enterprise into a brand new ship enterprise <laughs> clink 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 here you go airship press the a button to turn the enterprise into an airship yeah it's really that easy world what do you mean I guess it's time you knew the truth you four and I are not from this world this floating continent Is that Kratos ten years ago I was flying my airship filled with passengers it seemed to be a day like any other until suddenly the airship was engulfed in an impenetrable darkness that impenetrable it just looked like it got slightly darker next thing I knew my airship was in pieces we had crashed and things were aflame everywhere I looked
The only survivors, aside from myself, were you four. You probably don't remember. You were only little kitties then. I don't know what happened to our world after the darkness came, but you, you must go and find out. You've been chosen as the Warriors of the Light. I know you'll make it. Okay. That was... <laughs> I don't really understand the point of that. It's time you know the truth. One time, we were on an airship and it crashed. That's it, though. Like, that's, that's it. <laughs> Epic story. I still don't see how this tower holds up the whole continent, but I guess we're about to find out. So we're flying the same airship into the same darkness that crashed it the first time. I'm sure this will go well. Ah, what, what is this cloud? It's it's draining my strength away. Hold on, our answers lie on the surface. We must reach it. I know I hate clouds. I hope they reach the surface all right. Uh, probably not. This is the same darkness that broke the last airship. It's probably stronger now. It's been here for a thousand years. Or whatever. A couple years. <laughs> Not a thousand. That makes Sid really old. Like ten years. We're through! Is this the surface? It's so... Sprawling. Whoa! Cool, cool song. Oh, okay. Good thing I have this map, or else I'd just be flying into nothing this forever. Are there fights in here? I guess not. Alright, we got obviously not a giant spiky turtle. The temple. It's over here. Yo, milk truck with the tier two. Six months. Can I get some foam in the chat? Thank you so much, dude. Is this a ghost ship? Are there ghouls? Okay, how do I land the ship? I guess I gotta use B. I used to use the other button. I used to use A to land the ship, but now it turns it into an airship, so I gotta use the other button. It's a ghost ship. Spooky ghost. Okay. 
Anybody in here? Any spooks? How's it going, Siege? Blood sword. Ooh. More attack and it absorbs. Hello there. Oh! Oh no! Azaria, something, alas, alack! It's nothing. If nothing is done, our own time will cease as well. Hey, Gramps, calm down. Just what's going on? The land. Darkness has covered the land, and darkness has stopped our time. Miss Arya tried to stop it, but oh, Miss Arya. Ooh. Oh, me, oh my! Miss Arya, Miss Arya, wake up! She's very weak. We have to help her. I wonder if we have anything in our bag that could fix her up. Sure. How about a potion? Wait, really? That's it? <laughs> I was using that as a meme. Who are you? Where am I? The light. I see a powerful light within you. Could that be? I'm Luna. The crystals guided us to this world. So you are the warriors of the light. The crystals have chosen their champions. We are saved. If that were only true, time is still motionless outside of these walls. So the world has succumbed to darkness. We have to save it. Yeah, it's a good thing I did that tutorial with the old guy. <laughs> Free me of the Temple of Water. Maybe if we bring the crystal shard there to the sealed crystal. Please, you must bring me to the Temple of Water. So, this is just kind of a nitpick, like, it's not really a big deal or anything, don't take it too seriously, but I kind of hate when, in RPGs, the main characters just kind of go along with everything, you know? Like, especially older RPGs do this a lot, where the main characters are basically just like the good guys, and then everything else just happens with NPCs, and they just kind of go along with everything, and that's the way this game feels. I like it when the main characters kick back a bit, you know, and have their own stories and their own reasons for doing things. Instead, it's just like, we're Batman going around just doing Batman things, like, what? Darkness? We will defeat the darkness! Like, you know, <laughs> it's just not as interesting to me, because NPCs are normally pretty forgettable. So I'd much rather the characters be less generic, yeah. And I mean, it's totally understandable for this game, given when it was released and everything. But I'm just saying, you know, that's why I said, don't take it too seriously, but... Yeah, it's, it's much better when the characters have their own, you know, reasons for things. Or at least just kick back a little bit, you know, like... This is just some random woman we found on a ghost ship. Maybe we should, like, ask her some questions. Like, we just... We just traveled through the darkness and then entered a wrecked ship and the first person we saw, we were like, yes, let's do everything, she says. <laughs> you know? Like, it's just a bit... I wish they at least talked about, like, hmm, should we help her? I don't know. Like... Maybe we should talk about it. Nope. Darkness! We will defeat darkness. They're just good at making friends. Don't be jealous. Wow. I feel attacked. I have plenty of friends! <laughs> Did she change clothes? Thank the heavens! There is still light within this shard. So our next stop is the sealed water crystal? Yes, it must be imbued with the shard's light. Miss Arya, where did this shard come from? Before the world was doomed, when we saw the darkness expanding, we priestesses sealed the crystal to protect it from the dankness, in the hopes that one day the warriors of light would come. This shard is created to break the crystal seal. 
Come, we must go to the Cave of Tides to the north. Yeah, epic temple. My favorite part was when we walked straight. That was pretty epic. Better save so we don't have to do that temple again. I like that name, Cave of Tides. Better than just like, Water Cave. Alright, new enemies! Yeah. Every heart submit to dankness! Still you understand nothing. Kingdom Hearts 1 is definitely one of the most quotable games of all time. So many memorable quotes. Bomb arm. That's nice. How's it going, C-Mark? Think of the host. Did you see that experience? 450 experience? That's double what we were getting before. I'm friends with death. He tried to steal my girlfriend. That made us friends? This is the sealed portal. It was created to keep outsiders away from the water crystal. Only priestesses of the temple may pass through. <laughs> Thanks for the running commentary game. I couldn't tell that she was praying. We may pass now. Yeah, I like how the characters do have their own personalities. They're just still so, like, generic in the way they accomplish things. You know what I mean? Like, the characters are fine. I don't hate the characters. It's just the plot with the characters is just go do things that are nice and then defeat the dankness. Like, there's no, you know what I mean? And I'm all I'm all for the whole story being like we're the we're the heroes of light and therefore that's just our quest. Like that's fine. It's just I wish there was a bit more to it. Like for example, a great a great little thing they could have done was when we went on that ship, there could have been an argument within the party of like should we trust this girl or not? Like, that would have been fine. They still would have been doing the right thing, and they still would have been doing the whole defeat the darkness thing, but there could have just been a little bit of kickback instead of just, like, listening to everything every NPC ever says. And, like, I think one of the biggest issues I have with the characters is they took the time to give all the characters backstory, but none of the backstories have anything to do with our quest. And that's a big no-no when it comes to, like, writing stories. You need the main characters to have some kind of, like, connection to the quest, you know? There needs to be some kind of, like... When I was born, my father told me to follow the crystal and then died a horrible death and the crystal saved me from death and now I'm the have the you know yeah just any you know any kind of like connection instead of just like well these guys were nice <laughs> and then Sid's like well we're all on the same airship and it crashed so like yeah there's the orphan thing but how is that connected to 
And maybe we find out later, you know, but still. It's not enough. There's not enough hook. Like, just think of, you know, any other Final Fantasy game. There's always that hook that's keeping the main characters, you know, interested. But yeah, that's all, that's all small. I think my, my biggest gripe with this game is that it's not hooking me to continue playing. Like I said before, if this weren't for Final Fantathon, I would have quit by now. Probably. Because there's nothing like we're just doing more dungeons. Like, there's no, oh, what's going to happen? Like, oh, what's going to happen later? Or what kind of jobs are there going to be? Or Like, there's no ongoing plot that's interesting. It's just we're going to do more of the thing. There's no suspense. There's no hook. Like I said, even in Final Fantasy 1, I would argue there was more of a hook. Because in Final Fantasy 1, at least when I opened up the menu, it was like, here's how many crystals you have. And I was like, ooh, I want to get them all. And there was always like, you were always getting new vehicles that could travel to new continents. And it was like, what's going to be on this continent? There were things that hooked me in. In Final Fantasy 2, although I would argue that the hook in Final Fantasy 2 was also pretty bad, at least you had your friend from the start of the game that was missing. And for the majority of the game, you were trying to find him. So at least there was something. I didn't really care, because I only knew him for like five seconds. But at least there was something. Here it's just kind of like, go do the light and defeat the dark. <laughs> Yo, old devil, thank you so much for the 17 months. And that's why I said, like, if I were if I were in charge, you know, if, if Final Fantasy 3 had been made, and then in 2000, when was this, 2006, Square came up to me and they were like, okay, Death, you think you're so good and you know everything about everything? We're going to put you in charge. You make the, the Final Fantasy 3 DS remake. What I would have done with, you know... And it wouldn't have taken much time, because you could say, just make a better game. But let's say that I had the same exact budget and the same exact people working on the game. I was just the director. And I had to come up with a way to make this game have more hook. What I would have done personally, was I would have put in just a few lines of text. Would have taken, you know, a few hours at most. Put in a few lines of text where, like... Two of the characters in the party were all for the quest of the light, and two of them were unsure. That would have just given us something, some kind of conflict where, like, two of the characters were like, let's do everything the crystals say, and two of them were like, I don't know about these crystals, I don't know if this is really what we should be doing, maybe we should be, maybe we should be collecting the power and not giving it all to the crystals. There's just some kind of conflict, so that as we're going through, we're thinking about that in the back of our head, like, what's going to happen? Are we going to, you know, are the crystals going to, are we really saving the planet, or is there something else going on? Just something to, like, keep us motivated. And, you know, some kind of conflict going on throughout the game. So it's not always just, here's this person that's in trouble, save them. On to the next continent. And that would have taken, you know, very little time to add. They already added text. Most of it being irrelevant.
Nice see, Mark. Yeah, trying to do the buttons with random models is pretty hilarious. I've not played Bravely Default. Bravely Default is on my list for Let's Plays. I definitely want to do it. Marky Mar! <laughs> Pow! I forgot about that. Get some pancakes. Pow! I gotta make that a point redemption thing at some point. That would be the greatest point redemption of all time. I would laugh every time. Every time someone redeemed that, I would laugh. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to help myself. It's too funny. Yeah, I don't know. It just it just comes across as like it's more frustrating when the characters do have dialogue and it sucks rather than the characters not having dialogue. You know what I mean? Like Final Fantasy 1, you play it and it just feels like a quest where you're not really worried about the characters and more worried about the gameplay and the enemies and stuff, right? So you're not focused on the characters. But this game kind of sets up the characters to be more important. It starts off with like their backstory and makes it seem like they have personalities that matter. And then they just drop off the face of the planet and they're just like, yeah, we'll do good stuff, light, defeat the darkness. So I think that's where the frustration comes in. Because it's like they set it up as if it's going to be important, you know, like the scene with Luneth and Ark where Ark is like getting bullied and he like saves him and then he's like thanks and it seems like there's going to be something there and then it's just like gone you know and that's my you know that that's my issue is that according to most of the people in the chat they're saying that the original game didn't have that so my question is if you're going to make a remake of Final Fantasy 3 why add the backstories of the characters if you're not going to take it anywhere you know like okay the game starts off and Luneth and Ark have like this bond and then the other two characters kind of randomly join in why not have this like conflict between Luneth and Ark where like Luneth thinks one thing and Ark thinks the other thing but Ark doesn't want to think the other thing because he looks up to Luneth so he kind of pretends to like agree with Luneth but then halfway through the quest, he's like, you know what, Luneth, I gotta stand up for myself. I know I didn't stand up for myself at the beginning of the game, but here's my character development starting to become my own man, you know, like video games. And standing up for himself and being like, you know what, I think this way. And then the other two characters back him up. And then maybe Luneth gets mad because Ark is thinking differently than him and he's used to Ark thinking the same because he's been his protector all his life. So then Luneth gets mad, and then there's like this conflict where Luneth is like mad at the rest of the party, and then you go to a dungeon where Luneth gets separated, and the other three are there, and then Luneth has like this coming, you know, coming to age moment where he's like, you know what, Ark is growing up, I need to let him be himself, and then Ark saves him from like a demon. Dude, it writes itself. Like, hello? Why did they do this? Why? <laughs> it writes itself. I just wrote the perfect Final Fantasy 3 remake. Instead, they're like, no, nah, let's just... Let's just have this scene at the start, and then the rest of the game would just be the same. Come on, dude. I'm telling you, they should have put me in charge. It's not hard, man. 
It's not hard to come up with a good plot. And, you know, obviously they didn't, they put a lot more work into making the game 3D than they did improving the story, and I get that. But if they were already going to add cutscenes and text, then they should have added that. Something like that. It would have been perfect. They already had the scene with Luneth and Ark. They already set it up. All we needed was like two scenes where Ark and Luneth talk and argue. And then in one of these dungeons just have a little bonus thing where Luneth gets separated and then Ark saves him. How much, how much effort would that have truly taken? And it would have made this whole remake make sense to me. How's it going, King? And again, I just don't see any reason to remake Final Fantasy 3 if you're not going to improve it. Like, you're just going to take it and make it 3D and that's it? You're not going to, like, improve it or anything? Like, you're just... If you're going to make it... If you're going to put it on DS and not improve it, then don't make it 3D either. Just do a straight port. Yeah, but if you're going to localize it, just localize it. Just do an English version of the Famicom version. Oh, good. Don't get me wrong, CJ. I, it's not ruined. I'm still enjoying the game. I'm just telling you why, how I think it could have been better. I'm just uh, talking about the game instead of just sitting here quietly. I still think it's nice that they made a 3D localization of the game so that people could experience it. But, like I said, if I were in charge, I would have done it much differently. And maybe it would have been better. Or maybe worse. I don't know. I never made a game before. How's it going, Desi? I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm not a fan of the 3D look either. I would have rather them do the same with this game as they did with 2 and keep it 2D but like update it. Do all the combat improvements that they did, visually improve it but keep it 2D with sprites. I would have much preferred. And put it on a console that's not DS because I don't understand why it's on DS. If you're not going to use the touchpad or the second screen, then why is it on the DS? This was 2006? When did the Wii come out? What year did the Wii come out? I think we talked about this last time. Could have just been a Wii digital download. I think he just hates the DS. Why, why would you think that? This game uses nothing that the DS offers. Nothing. 
I love the DS. I grew up with the DS. I grew up with games like Kirby uh, Canvas Curse and WarioWare. Games that use the DS. Oh, you meant the DS version? Yeah, I kind of hate the DS version. <laughs> You're right. Definitely hate Christmas. I mean, that's fine if they wanted to make it on the DS, specifically because the DS is popular, but then use the DS. You know? Like, my big issue is that this game did not need to be rushed. This game was not the Final Fantasy VII Remake, or the next Final Fantasy in line, or needed to come out before the next Final Fantasy came out because it was like a sequel to a previous one, or for a new console when a new console came out. Like, there was no pressure for this game. They could have waited and made it better. They could have implemented more stuff with the DS. They could have found a way to use the second screen in some kind of way. They could have had some DS mini games. Like I said before, when you catch the Chocobos, instead of just walking up and catching the Chocobo, they could have had a little mini game with the DS stylus. Like, literally anything. You know? There was no reason to push this game out in its current state with zero reason to be on the DS when they could have just waited and made it like a real DS experience. To me, it feels like a cash grab to take an old Final Fantasy that never made it to the US and quickly put it on the DS with no DS features just because people are going to be like, whoa, Final Fantasy 3, we never got to play that one and buy it. Does that not sound cash grabby to everyone else? Because it does to me. Yeah, I mean, it's probably safe to say that they did this for money, but then I'm going to review it the same way. Yeah. I'm not going to give them a pass. It still still comes across as bad. It's kind of nice having her with us. I think a modern Final Fantasy 3 would work, yeah. If you did what I said, and like, make an internal struggle between the characters so that the backstory that they implemented actually means something, either made it look really nice in 3D, or just revert it back to 2D and do something like Final Fantasy 2 Dawn of Souls, Dawn of Souls, whatever it was called, um, and put it on Switch, yeah, I'd buy that. Could you imagine, like, basically the Final Fantasy 1 and 2 remakes, but Final Fantasy 3, and it had, like, some extra story features and some extra dungeons, and it was back to 2D, and it looked really nice like Final Fantasy 2 did? I'd buy the crap out of that on Switch. Heck yeah. I mean, even if they just did that on, like, Steam, it'd be pretty nice. I just used Teleport. I did not mean to use Teleport. How's it going, Batonic? Alright. That hurt. I'm gonna have to go back to the old continent to heal, because I don't think there's any, like, healing areas 
I don't know if there was one on the boat. I don't think there was. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this game would have done fine if they didn't add any to the story. I agree that I normally play these old Final Fantasies for the gameplay and not the story. My issue is that they tried to make the story matter and then didn't. <laughs> like, why try? Why put in the backstory beginning if they're not going to go anywhere with it? It'd be like if I took Super Mario Bros. and just did, like, a cutscene at the beginning before you start 1-1. One -one where Mario, like, eats some spaghetti with Luigi, and then Luigi's like, Be careful! There might be gremlins out there! And then the game just plays out like normal, and there's no gremlins. There's no Luigi. There's no spaghetti. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> like, what was with the spaghetti and Luigi? What? Where are the gremlins? No spaghetti, bad game. Can I, uh... I'm about to, I'm about to do something really, uh... It's, it's bad to do this on YouTube, I might get demonetized, but... Is the world flat? Oh, oh boy. Flat earthers be danged. The world is not flat, confirmed. That boy is a circle. Big round. I can't live in a world without spaghetti. I agree. Actually, you know what? Let's just go to the starting town. need some more coffee. I think I'm gonna refuel my party members and refuel myself. My limit. I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot I can't park this thing. Lame. Why can't you park it? Like, why? Why? I know, I know Sid said it's a ship, but... Wait. Yo, Aaron, thank you for the 27 months. Welcome back, dude. Yeah, I know Sid said, like, it's a ship, so it can't land on ground, but, like, why? <laughs> why not just say, I put some wheels on it, we're good to go. You can't even land in here. Just put some wheels on that, Sid. Come on. Just put some landing gear on it. The lake isn't wet enough. It doesn't work. Don't you think uh, the princess, the priestess, is kind of like confused? She's like, where are we? Some other like planet. Don't worry about it. Uh, I don't know where the revival water is in this town. the wheel of landing all we had was the wheel of time did we find do we do we know why the wheel of time was needed to create an airship was that explained because I I might have blacked out during that
<laughs> I'm not sure what that was about. Because magic. Fair enough. <laughs> it was just a watch. And he like looked at it and he was like, look, it's airship building time. Thanks. I didn't know what time it was until you brought me the Wheel of Time. Now I know. It's airship building time. Yeah, MacGuffin. <laughs> That's when you take a, uh, a McMuffin. And a griffin. And you combine those two, you get a MacGuffin. 